All right. Um, so one of my favorite types of problems in this section seven one, uh, I think this may be only one in the homework, but but it's a good one. I, I, once you know how to do the conversions right between percentages and fractions and percentages and decimals, you can essentially sort of put it all together. You know, in theory, we also in our back pocket can do conversions between fractions and decimals just on their own. Um, and so you can essentially be given a table, right, where you have, uh, you know, a column for percents, for fractions, and then for decimals of the same number. And, and so I can give you, right, kind of one of the three forms and then have you find the other two. So, so for example, right, if we've got 90% here, we'd like to have it written as a fraction and we'd like to have it written as a decimal. Um, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the work for this down below actually. So I'll, I'll shift this up. So 90%, right, as a fraction, divide by 100, right? So over 100, 90 over 100. This one is a pretty easy one just to start with. And then as far as canceling that, it's just gonna reduce down to a nice 9 tenths for us, right? So we can kind of fill in the chart. That's a pretty easy conversion to do. Um, percentages to decimals, of course, right, are also very fast. Um, all we have to do is shift our decimal place, right? So 90% into decimal form. 90 shift this twice to the left, you know, 0 0.90 AKA, right? Sort of just a 0 0.9 is probably how we're gonna write that. And so that's what we'll put up here. Right, so kind of starting with the percent, we can sort of do those two conversions and then uh, get our new numbers. If we were asked to sort of start with the fraction instead, um, couple different approaches. You could go fraction to decimal, do a long division here, or you could sort of do a fraction into a percent and then from the percentage into the decimal. I think I'm gonna find the percent first. This is what, so 11 over 40. So into a percentage, right? So that's gonna be 11 over 40 times 100, right? 100% rather than doing a division. Um, what's this gonna be, right? 11 times a hundo, 40, take some of this out of here. This is like a 110 over four um, as a mixed number. Four goes into 125 times. So this is gonna be like 27. Oh, well, I guess we could reduce it. This would make our lives a little easier. This would reduce down to, if I did the division by two, this would be kind of a 55 over two, and then that we can see a little more easily would be 27 and one half percent. So we can fill that in here. One half percent, of course, or 27 kind of 0.5. That 27.5 percent, let's use that to get the decimal version, right? So the idea here is, you know, once you get you know, from one form to another, you can then kind of use that to get to the third form if it's more convenient. Percent to decimal is kind of back and forth is, is definitely the easiest conversion we have to do. The fractions uh, here are, 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 you know, maybe the only kind of clumsy ones. So in this case, right, 27.5, we're gonna shift one, two. So that'd be 0 0.275. And that will be our decimal version. Right. So just kind of filling in this table. I I just like this because you get to sort of do all the different conversions and kind of approach it from, from different ways each time. It kind of puts it all together. Um, last but not least, if we start with a decimal version, so if point, point 0.56, uh, I would say definitely do uh, your, your decimal to percentage first. Again, right, percents and decimals, just like an easy, kind of our easiest um, conversion. So that's gonna be shifting to the right. So this would be 56%. And then if I know 56%, I can then convert that into a fraction, right? Become a 56 over 100. 
and then that we can just sort of reduce. So a 56 over 100, you know, if we do it to whatever division by two, this would be what, kind of a 28 over 50, would be, you know, 14 over 25 or something, right? That sounds right to me. Yeah, because we're really just sort of dividing this by four. That's as good as that's gonna get. So in this case, right, they're gonna want um, these fractions to be reduced. Um, so not just writing 56 over 100, but you're always gonna wanna reduce it to lowest terms. Um, but that's kind of the format, that's the approach. Um, you know, all the other examples apply if you're, you know, above 100 or, you know, under really big or small numbers, you can still do the conversions there. Uh, just roll with it. So that's the idea. Uh, that's the end of 7.1. Um, so I'll see you next in 7.2.